guys welcome back to my channel so today I filmed a video on this look right here it is a super smoky winged out uh, makeup look with a pop of yellow in the inner corner so this is fun for festival season definitely something that will add a little bit of pop into your music festival look um, I even got the shirt going on right now it's from forever 21 got it a while ago I'll see if I can find it I don't know if they still have it but it has little flowers and it's just like a music festival shirt so I know that let's see tonight is it is a Friday night uh, it is Friday night at 9.15 and I am just now getting to filming this look. I know Coachella day one was today, which is such a bummer because I really wanted to have this video up before that, but that's okay. Um, I know that there are plenty more festivals coming up this summer, even Coachella week two. So, um, hopefully I can get this video up sometime tonight. I am going to push through my tiredness. I've just been so busy these past couple of weeks. Um, I did just start, I just finished my second week of esthetician school. So second week out of 16. So unfortunately it's going to be a little bit tough for me to be getting up videos. Um, to be honest, I didn't realize that it was going to be this hectic. Um, but between homework and school starts at 7.30 and I don't get home until 5, it's just so difficult to get videos up constantly. But um, the weekends are my time to be cranking out videos and getting footage up for you guys. So yeah, that is when I'm going to be doing my videos. Um, so, and here we are. It's the weekend and I am trying to get this video up for you guys. So... I'm going to push through this tiredness and the hunger. Actually, I'm going to go make myself some dinner really quick because I need to eat something right now. Um, and then I'll get to editing and hopefully this video will up, be up in just a little bit. So yeah, that is all I have to say. So if you guys would like to see how I created this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to be starting out by going in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I haven't used it in forever. I don't even know if it's like still usable. So we're going to try and see how it works. So next I'm going to go ahead and go in with some scotch tape and I'm going to use this on the outer edge of my eye just to create a sharp edge and um, you know something that I can use as a guideline. So I took it and first placed it on the back of my hand and pulled it off just to take away some of the stickiness so that it doesn't affect my eye when I go to pull it off. Okay, so now I have these on. I think they're pretty even. They look pretty even to me. So we are going to go in and start off with the eyeshadow. So I'm going to be going in with the Smashbox Photo Matte Eye Palette. It has all of these neutral eyeshadows, all matte eyeshadows. And I'm going to be starting out by going in with vanilla and just setting down that paint pot. So just taking a flat brush, I'm just going to pack that all over my eyelid. Next I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with the shadow um, Grounded. This one right here, just a matte brown eyeshadow. And I'm just going to be taking that with my Sigma E40 blending brush and just blending that into the crease to start using as a transition shade.
Now I'm going to start gradually deepening up the colors. So I'm going to be going in with, let's see, this one is suede right here. Just a, another matte brown eyeshadow. And this one I'm going to be taking on my Morphe M433 blending brush. And I'm just going to blend this into the outer crease and outer V of my eye. I'm trying to focus on keeping this on the outer half of my eye so that I can keep the inner half blank. Next, going in with now a more dense brush. This is my Sigma E25 blending brush. I'm gonna be taking this one right here called Canyon, and it's a very dark brown, um, more on the gray brown side, and I'm just going to be taking that and deepening up that outer corner and the outer crease. And then I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M433 brush and just blend some of that out. Next, taking a pencil brush, I'm going to be going in with this gray shadow right here called Haze. And it is a kind of a gray shadow with blue undertones. And I'm just going to be taking that and dragging it right along the tape just to start to wing out this eyeshadow. Then just going back in with the Sigma E25 blending brush, I'm just going to blend that out too. Next, going in with the black from the palette. This is called Blackout. And I'm just taking a teensy little pencil brush and just continuing to wing out this eyeshadow. As you can see, I am dragging it in just a little bit just to give it more of that winged liner effect. And I do like, I don't know if you can see, that I do have a little gap between the tape and my lower lash line. So it is falling down into that area, which will give it more of a smoked out look as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull off this tape. And as you can see, we have a nice sharp line that we have created. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. I hate using tape on my outer lid, last outer lid, outer, outer corner, whatever you wanna call it. So that turned out actually really pretty. I'm like actually really digging this makeup look right now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with MAC Blanc Type eyeshadow right here. Just a super vanilla eyeshadow. You'll see it's way more than, way more um, kind of white than the vanilla eyeshadow that is in the Smashbox palette. So I'm just going to take that and put it right here on the inner, kind of inner half of my eyelid just to make sure that that looks really bare. I'm just going to go back in with my Sigma E25 blending brush again and blend all that together. So because music festivals are typically during the summer and in a desert area and it is hot, it's like 100 degrees, um, you want to use a foundation and a primer that you know is going to last you throughout the day and throughout the night. Um, something that you know is going to work for you. So 
it is important that you bring something with you that you um, have used before that you know will stay on. So what I'm going to be using is the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I know, an oldie but a goldie. I am breaking this out again because to me, this is still one of the best primers that I have ever used. Using the word primer loosely, of course. But yeah, so I'm going to apply this on my face and use it as my primer. For foundation, I'm going to be breaking out another oldie but a goldie. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. Um, I always loved this foundation when it first came out. Um, I don't really know why I stopped using it. I think it was because Sephora color matched me way wrong and it definitely works better for me when I am self tan. Um, so I never really wore it. Um, I do obviously wear it now because I do self tan more but when I first um, started wearing this probably like freshman sophomore year of high school I did not self tan at all I didn't even know that there was a thing like that so um, yeah I think like once I realized that um, I wasn't color matched good I stopped wearing it but now that I match it again, here we are wearing it. So um, this is a really good foundation for if you were going to be out and about all day or at a music festival because it does stay on really well. Um, so yeah, this is what I would be using for Coachella if I were going or to any music festival. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my eyebrows really quick, and I am just using the NYX Eyebrow Gel in Blonde with my Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush. Next for concealer, I'm going to be using two concealers, so I'm going to start off by taking a brand new MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Um, this is actually the second time that this has happened to me, but um, the one that I had actually rolled off my counter and completely broke everywhere. Um, it's done that twice now. so. And the last time it rolled off just like my desk that I had and it landed on a wooden chair and it broke everywhere. So um, after it happened this time, I contacted Mac and I said, this is not cool. Um, so they sent me a new one. So yeah, I'm using a brand new Mac concealer. And I'm just going to use this to start concealing underneath the eyes. And I am using a lighter um, concealer. This is uh, NC15, so like the lightest shade, I believe. Um, because I do want my under eyes to be extremely highlighted um, for this music festival that I'm going to. And then I'm going to mix um, Maybelline Fit Me in 15 Fair. And I'm just going to put that right over top, kind of where I have applied the Pro Longwear Concealer and just blend that out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I'm making sure that I get really good into this inner corner because I am going to be applying another um, product in there. As you guys can already tell, I'm sure. Um, as you've seen from like my intro and my thumbnail, like obviously I'm going to be putting something in there. So yeah, I'm just keeping 
this area super highlighted, making sure that I get really good into that inner corner. And then just with some more MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I'm just going to now go ahead and highlight the center of my face. Okay, so then to set down that concealer, I'm going in with NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana, and I'm just going to take my e.l.f. small tapered brush and set that down. I want to be careful though in this inner corner because yes, like I said, um, I am going to be applying more um, product right there so I'm not going to take the powder too high right there oh I have an itch um, I'm not going to be taking the powder up into over top of where I put that concealer in the very inner corner because I want the next product to go on nice and easily so I'm just going over all other places that I applied concealer though and making sure that that is all set because I do get oily mostly in my T-zone. So with the hot sun in an oily T-zone, I want to make sure that I am all set and matte. And then to set the rest of my face, of course I am using the CoverGirl Loose Powder. Okay, so we are completely matte and ready for festival season. So I'm going to go in and finish up the eyes. I will zoom you guys in so you can see that. Okay, so now for the fun part, I'm going to be going in with this Morphe gel liner. And this is in the color Trophy. And because this is one of the products that I use in my client kit, I am going to just dig a little bit out with my spatula and put it on a um, palette, which if you guys don't know what a palette is, it is basically what makeup artists use to put products on to apply to their client's face. Just a little FYI. bright I love that that looks super cool um, so I'm going to flip over the brush to the clean side and I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow from Mac it is called Suns Out Buns Out and it was from their trolls collection so it's just this kind of yellow gold eyeshadow um, I'm gonna take that and put it right over top of the yellow eyeliner I hope the camera is picking it up, but it just kind of made it pop a little bit more. Alrighty, so I am going to let that dry. And while I do that, I am just going to finish off my lower lash line. So I'm pretty much just going to take whatever's left over on this little pencil brush that I used for the black eyeshadow.
Okay, so the eyes are now officially done. Yay. So I'm just going to finish up with the face and then we will be on with our days. So I'm going to go ahead and contour with Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I am using this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It has a kind of... Um, not really pointed but it's more narrow so I'm just using that to contour and carve out my face and also on my forehead and my jawline And then to highlight, oh my gosh, look what just happened. I think I just flipped it over. Um, I fixed this like 30 times, but it all crumbled again. Um, but I'm using the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. I want my face to be really glowy so that when the sun hits it, I just kind of beam with the light. And as you can see, this highlighter will make me beam in the sunlight. This is one of my all-time favorites. I think a lot of people love it too. Um, yeah, Jacqueline did an amazing job when she created this highlighter. So, a little bit on the tip of the nose, also down at the bridge in the center of the chin and in the center of the forehead and yes and then I'm just going to hit my um, brow bone with a little bit too just to really lift up that arch I almost said I was gonna do a little bit in the inner corner too, but that would be kind of awkward. Alrighty, you guys. I believe that does not complete this look because I need lipstick. Um, shocker, I think I'm just gonna go with a, a basic nude. Um, let's go with some MAC Myth. Can't go wrong with that. Not even gonna line my lips, to be honest. Um, you can if you want. I would recommend it, especially at a music festival. Um, but just for the meantime, right now, I'm not going to line my lips. But a really good liner underneath this lipstick is Naked Liner by MAC. So definitely recommend that one for this. And then just to give it a little bit more color because it is really peachy, um, I'm just going to add some NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Natural. And I'm just going to go right over top of it just to uh, add a little bit more pink. Okay, you guys, and then that will complete this look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please let me know what you think in the comments below. If you did like it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm sorry it took so long for me to get another video up, but this will be up hopefully within about three hours or so because I'm going to speed edit and start uploading so yeah i hope like i said you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you all in my next one bye guys